Welcome, this is Razor Flame Kun, and this is episode one of the Metal Fiend series. We begin by selecting our character, Razor Flame. I already created a supply depot number one. I'm going to create another one, supply depot number two, and it's a medium world. These supply depots are going to be, the layout of them are, is going to be a big storage area in the middle of the map with a lot of storage in a bed, a furnace, a workbench, and a anvil so that I can do stuff. The furnace so that I can make the copper ores, the silver ores, and the gold ores into the bricks. And the other stuff so that if I find any rare stuff, I can make it into bars and then make it into other stuff. Mainly chandeliers and iron... Excuse me, and iron chains. Okay, we're going to make one more world. This one's going to be a large... Actually, wait. Supply depot number three. Yeah, I know I might be going overboard by creating three supply depots, but... As I said, this is going to be a mega structure, and it's going to be absolutely huge. The first, I'm going to have, the, the first thing I'm going to have to do when I actually go into the world that I'm going to make the Metal Fane, which is going to be a brand new large world, is I'm going to have to do a ton of of landscaping which is going to be absolutely a nightmare and speaking of that I'm all I'm there are a few things I forgot to get while I was in my main world razor flame and I'm gonna get that now they they're mainly a couple 250 stacks of dirt blocks and a 99 stack of um, however many iron bars I have. However, uh, how, how about half of the cop? Actually, I'm going to do half of the copper, half of the, half of all the bars that can be turned into chandeliers, as well as a bunch of stone blocks and any I have and any dirt blocks I have. Another thing that I'm going to show off really quick is the mushroom farm, the glowing mushroom farm. I'm going to do that really quick before we actually. Um, start putting in stuff into my inventory that I'm going to need. So I'm going to go and show that to you right now after I get this vile mushroom really quick. Again, vile mushrooms can be turned into five vile powders, which can be used to summon the Eater of Worlds after you process it at a demon altar. By the way, all of the molten equipment actually has really really good attack so even even attacking with your ham axe or your pickaxe still deals an enormous amount of damage it's kind of a pain having to go back to my main base and actually i'm going to make another bed really quick so that and then i'm going to change my my um spawn point back to my main base so that I don't have to make this walk so many freaking times. I'm going to get more wood because I'm going to need more wood. Another thing that I thought would be really cool to make would be an indoor tree farm. I thought that would be really cool to make and see if it's actually possible to make it. Or an underground tree farm. That would be awesome. Anyways, before I go down there, I'm actually going to... Deposit a few things. I'm gonna go down here, go in here, deposit the silver and the copper. I'm not gonna bother doing anything with them. I'm gonna go over here. It's in this. I'm gonna deposit mana crystal in here. Um. What else am I gonna do? That's the other things I need to. I yeah, I need to pick up uh, at least I'm gonna pick up half of these. 
for chests and stuff. I'm gonna pick up. I'm actually gonna pick up all but ten of those. And actually I think I'm gonna need I'm gonna do thirty of each. Oh I already have thirty. Huh. Thirty two. Thirty one thirty. There we go. Twelve and then Eleven here. Oops, don't mean to do that. Um, Eleven here. I'm gonna move move stuff around in here a little bit. By the way, I might I might as well while I'm going down there on the way back up, I'm gonna show you how to use the grappling hook and the IV chain or the IV whip. Sorry, I'm not gonna have enough inventory space to do this all at once so actually I'm going to have to I actually have to there's god how am I gonna okay I can I know that this chest is empty so I'm gonna put a bunch of the stuff that I'm gonna bring into the other world here temporarily just to free up some empty inventory space so that I can go over here no excuse me go over here and Deposit where is mushrooms? Deposit these mushrooms in here. Then in here? No, it's not in there. It's in I think it's in here. Yeah, this one. Deposit those in there. Then get some dirt blocks because I'm gonna need them for the landscaping. Because the landscaping is going to be pretty hard. Okay, I'm going to, while I don't really want to, I'm going to leave the Muramasa behind in this chest, which contains all of my all of my special weapons that I've gotten so far. I'll briefly explain them. Magic Mirror, basically when you use it, it teleports you to your last spawn point. Nature's Gift, when you die, basically it spawns with max life and mana. The Depth Meter... When you have it equipped to the accessories, it shows how far down or up you are. Pretty useful when you're trying to find the floating islands, which I have yet to find, and I'm going to find eventually the demon bow. Don't know why I have that, I'm going to sell it because I have the molten bow, which is better than it. I'm going to go and do that, uh, get rid of that. The magic missile, which allows you to do this. You control it with your mouse, you left click. And then, or you left and hold the left click, and then you can move it around and and uh, target monsters. It costs 30 mana per use, and it's not really that practical. Well, it is it is for higher levels, but not really practical for what I'm doing. The Hermes boots I already explained. The flower, the fire is a magic weapon that throws balls. It shoots the balls of fire that you've seen. Amulet of Wind, 10% increased move speed. Yellow Face Blade, you're, I already showed that. Vile Thorn, I'll show that really quickly. It does this. Creates these thorns, which does 8 damage per hit and is actually pretty useful on a few bosses that you find in this game. Sephir Regrowth, I'll quickly show what that does. Left click. And you can turn dirt into grass. Uh, go and get rid of that harpoon. I'm not going to show me your suit is the suit of armor that you get, but it's outdated because of the cobalt armor that I was getting down in the underground jungle. Jungle. There's the aqua scepter, which is a continuous item. It uses 12 mana per second or per half second. Anyways, just watch. Watch the mana. It shoots the stream of water, which damages enemies continuously for. Uh, quite a bit of damage each in the original alpha version or for alpha testing it was so freaking overpowered that you could just sit there and everything would die really quickly blue moon is a ball and chain type weapon as you can see it glows it's found in dungeons and the ball of hurt that you saw right here is the weaker version of it and that's pretty much it and there now there's some mushrooms in here don't know why now I have, I have to sell, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't want to sell the Miramasa because I want to keep that, so I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to sell the Demon Bow to the Merchant, see how much he gives it for me. Shop, Demon Bow, 36 silver, I'm going to sell it. Then I'm going to move this over. 
this over, I'm actually gonna, since I'm not going, I'm gonna take one, but I'm not gonna need all of them, so I'm actually going to deposit a few of them in, um, there, oh, I can, can I reach the chest? Yes, I can. And I'm gonna deposit these in here. Okay, now to show you the glowing mushroom farm really quick. Uh, probably already, oh, I need to show you the grappling hook. The grappling hook, you point to where you want to grapple and you grapple to it. You can also grapple while you're on the wall again, like that. You can jump while it's on it, and then you can, you can also use it in midair. It's a useful way of forgetting up. The Ivy Whip, same thing, only you can shoot three. And it's a really easy way to, to climb up the chasms in the corruption. Okay, now let's go down here. I'm going to use the ball of light so you guys can see. Pulse pick to just get rid of some of these dirt blocks that fall down here. Go over here. And here's the big mushroom field. Yes, you. I get over. I think I get now get over 200 mushrooms per trip down here. And yes, there's some grass that is still growing. And as I said earlier, this grass goes really slow. So I don't expect this to be fin uh, finished growing for the whole thing to be covered in mushrooms for quite a while. There's a cave that continues going downward there, and I'm not going to show that. And I'm actually going to cut right here, because this has been part one, which has been the preparations. I'm actually not going to cut just yet, because there's actually some... I'm going to stop gathering these mushrooms, and then I'm going to go back up by creating a little shortcut right here. By the way, the rocket boost, you press and hold space after you double jump, and it uses quite a lot of mana really fast. Now I'm going to use a grapple hook to get up. Again, just point and left click where you want to grapple, and it has a pretty good distance, so you can grapple pretty good. You can also double jump off of it and use the rocket boots off of it. Now for the Ivy, Ivy, Ivy Whip, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Ivy Whip to get out of here pretty quickly. I'm gonna double jump up here and get out now. I'm gonna go over. He I'm gonna go here. Just put these in here temporarily. Go here. Go over here. And now once I pick up all of these things and put them in my inventory after I deposit the glowing mushrooms and mush blue mushroom seeds that I got. Do three of them. Great. And get rid of these dirt blocks in here temporarily. Got I got some blocks. Okay, now we're going to get all the stuff out of here. And hopefully not get the guides in the way. There we go. Put all the stuff in here. Hopefully I have enough yep, I have enough inventory to say fill it. And that's gonna do it for this part. Next part, we are this part of this episode, we are going to Go it create a new world called Metal Thane and we're gonna deposit we're gonna start building the base of it. We're actually gonna build a storehouse first and then we're going to put all the stuff in my inventory in there. And and there's one more thing I have to do, and yeah I know I said I was gonna quit really quick. And I don't have any extra crap, okay? So I'm gonna have to get out some of these and I'm just going to Press and hold the left, the right mouse button, and I'm going to make another set of 99 torches. I also need to get rid of this grappling hook, but I'll put it in here. And then I need to make more torches, just so I have a good enough, good amount. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put the extra slime jelly back, or gel back, and then I'm going to... Then, thank you for watching this, this has been part... Episode 1, Part 1 of the um, Metal Fane series. And the next part, 1.2, will be coming very shortly. Thank you, and have a good day.